it is Nancy Taylor here with our final toddler and me workout. This is number four of four, and this workout is all on the floor. Four on the floor. It is a Pilates workout with your toddler. Ava is 17 months. Say hi. hi. <laughs> so she's a little bashful. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> She'll be joining me. We'll be showing you options to do with the toddler. You can do this workout without, and the moves are the same as in a general Pilates class or if you were to go to a studio. These are the moves that you would see. A lot of flexibility, control, and some good muscle tone. So you'll see how it works with a toddler in tow. We warm up on the floor. I have just a simple mat behind me. That's what I will be using, and let's get started. Okay, for your warm up, just come down to your mat. You'll be on your back. This is tabletop position. Your little one can either stick on your tummy or they get to come up for a little pony ride. Now, what you're going to do is just breathe here. Inhale, exhale. Feel your spine against your mat and against the floor. Inhale, and exhale. Don't worry, we'll move quickly so the little one doesn't get bored. Inhale. Exhale, spine imprint across the floor. Now you're going to let your, move, your legs move away and then come back. They drop and come back. You're working that lower core. We really are just getting warmed up here. So in Pilates, I will coach you through your breathing. I will coach you through what muscles you're working and where your mind should be at. And of course, you're taking a wild one. So <laughs> it'll be a lot of fun. Ah. You know, she's got a granola bar. <laughs> Always food in this little one's hand. Keep dropping those legs. Now you inhale as you drop. Exhale as you bring it back. It's a tiny motion. Inhale. You'll feel the heat begin to build. We have five minutes in this warm up. And then we'll get into our Pilates work. It's a 25 minute workout. So 20 minutes of work with a lot of flexibility there. We'll, at the end we even have five minutes of only flexibility. All right, hold it here. You're going to take your chin up. We're going to go to the Pilates 100, modified because we have a little one on our legs. Your arms are here, hover across above the floor, gaze towards your navel. Can you ready? You inhale five, staccato. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Where are you going? You want to sit here? Exhale. Inhale. She's hopping up. Are you saying sayonara? Exhale, keep your eyes towards your belly button. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let me show you an option. Inhale five, exhale five, inhale five, exhale five. If this doesn't build heat quicker than anything else, I don't know what does. Inhale for five, exhale, inhale. Exhale, pull your legs in, drop your head. With the, your little one on your legs, rock side to side. Or if they're like Ava, they're like, no way mom, I'm chilling over here with my cracker. Huh, you're chilling over here with your cracker. Your little stinker bun. All right, our next move, we're moving to a double leg extension. So now you're going to keep your legs here. If you have the toddler on your legs, keep them there. You inhale, reach, exhale, bring back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. No toddler, you inhale, extend, exhale, bring in. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, Ooh, kaboom, kaboom. Inhale, exhale. Remember, with the toddler, it's here. Exhale, you can give him a pony ride, on fire holding that little one there. You want to come back on? Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and let your legs fall down to the floor to a double V. You're here. With your arms, they come to the side. We're just going to do two, two moves here with your upper body. Squeeze your shackles together, then release. It's a scapula squeeze. You're reversing that natural hunch you get from holding your child, from nursing, whatever it is that has the weight in the front. <laughs> the weight. 
didn't mean anything by that. <laughs> squeeze those shoulder blades together, release. Squeeze them together, give me two more. Good, backward swimmer. You reach back, you bring here. This is a great rotator cuff and shoulders. You're thinking, man, this workout is simple. It is simple. We do get to the, the bulk of the moves are a little bit challenging, especially when you have a toddler with you. But you can get through it. Pilates does take time, practice. You don't just get it on day one. I have made this workout for beginners to make sure that you feel confident and comfortable joining. Go ahead, one more on each side. I need you for the next move, is that okay? We're going to take it to the glutes, bridge lift. So your feet are here in that double V. You lift your hips and lower. Okay, ready? Jump, jump, jump. You're working those glutes, feel them squeeze. This is a great muscle tone. A lot of Pilates is working that lower core, your pelvic area, which is great after having children, which is great to tighten that up if you're uncomfortable doing jumping jacks or running, or you just don't feel like everything's tightened back up, work that pelvic floor. Join me for Pilates and we'll do just that. Hey, what you doing? She wants to do a little jump. So these are little pulses, just the top, it's just like holding a dumbbell or a weight on your lower abdomen. But it's a child. You care a lot more about this child. <laughs> Keep going. Guys, you're, you're through the warm up. We're now taking it into the bulk of the work, starting with those legs and the glute work. Hi. Yeah. Well, after our glutes, we will be moving to inner outer thighs. I know that's a target area that a lot of women like to work on. And if you're doing this as a dad or a grandpa, awesome. Because it's also a great thing to target. <sighs> ah, your glute should be on fire. Okay, take it all the way down, all the way back up. You're alternating your breathing. So you exhale and then you inhale. Ava's just having a little lolly good time. Like she's on the carousel and the animal goes up and down. Oh, you want to get up? You want to go bye bye? Okay. Now pulse to the top. Last time. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze. Just it's challenging with or without a child on your hips. This Sava. She's my toy retriever. Always bringing me toys, huh? You're the cutest. Hold it there, guys. This workout will fly by. It will be over before you know it, and you'll leave feeling refreshed and ready to take on your day. You deserve it. So take the time just to show up. You don't even have to put shoes on, and you get to lay on the floor the whole time. This has been awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Release your legs. Oh, pull your legs in. Oh, if your child can sit to the side, I want you to take it to a figure four, or they can stay on your tummy. Take your left leg here, stretch. You can hold it here if you have your little one there. Thanks. Or reach through this window, pull your leg in. This is a figure four stretch. You're stretching that glue. The glue we just worked, yeah, we stretch it after. Ah, that was good. Thank you. I'm gonna have all of Ava's blocks at the end. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let your leg fall down. Let's switch. Other side. Right leg comes across. Open up that knee so you have a parallel with the floor. Go ahead and reach through the window. Pull it in. Really focus on training your mind and your cues with your, whenever you lift your shoulders, take your gaze towards your navel. Chin is down. This allows your core to do the holding instead of your neck straining and you're thinking, oh, I can't hold this position. Make sure you target your core. Make your powerhouse do the work, not your neck. Go ahead and release. Legs come down. Take it to your side. Now for this move, your little one can stick, really, they can go on your hip. They can sit in front of you. They can bring you blocks if their name's Ava and they have little deer ears. Are these are those bear ears? You're going to hold your leg. This is leg kicks. So in a pipe position, hover your leg just where your hip just hip joint is. Just straight along that hip. Hand comes here. You kick forward two. You kick back two. This will be a fun game. Inhale. Exhale. So you're just alternating your breathing. Notice the hips the upper body, the rest of the body is not wiggling, I'm not arching and kicking like this. I really want a stable foundation while my leg does the work. Moving into some inner outer thigh because, I know, you are going to thank me at the end. These moves, just stick through and you won't regret it. Keep going. Kick and kick. Hi. How's it going? Thank you. Go ahead and turn your foot, face your 
your, the top of your foot towards the ceiling. You're going to kick the leg up and then let the leg come back down. You control both motions. So you exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And depending on your flexibility, you could be kicking here. The range of motion is not a big deal. The cue, and what I really want you to think of, is control that leg. Maybe your little one's jumping underneath. <laughs> You're a cool little jungle gym for them if they understand the game. Go underneath, hurry! It's gotta be lots of fun, make it fun. Make this a time that you guys can enjoy doing together and it shouldn't feel like a chore. It shouldn't feel like you have to do this. It is a gift to be able to do this, to take care of your body, your mind, so that you can be the best mom that you possibly can. All right, go ahead and hold that leg here. We're going to take a top potato. I tap in front, kick up, tap behind. Your outer thigh should be on fire. Tap, tap, switch, alternate. So you exhale two breaths, inhale. Now you're inhaling through your nose, exhale mouth. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Give me one more at each side. Then we're going to target the inner thigh of your opposite leg. So your top leg comes in front, bottom leg, you're holding it here. Flex the foot. Thanks, Ava. You're such a helpful Pilates partner. You're so helpful, I love you. Keep pulsing. So today has been a hard day. Ava has been pretty upset and I cannot figure out what it is. She has a runny nose or what it is. I, I don't know if she's getting sick. And her dad just did, did leave yesterday on a trip, so maybe that's it. It's so crazy when you have those days. Maybe we, it's because we didn't do any fun activities outside the house. Whatever it is, man, those days happen. And right now she's happy as can be. She was pretty much screaming right before we started. But she really does love these workouts. She loves this time to bond, to play, and that's what they're for. All right, go ahead and rest those legs. Hit out any sore joints, sore muscles. Let's flip it over just like a pancake. Do you guys have a prize of blocks in front of you? Just me? <laughs> Aren't I a lucky mom? If your neck's hurting, rest your head here. If not, take it up here. What you doing, Ava? Hover leg, kick forward two. Inhale, exhale. I'm kicking the wall. Inhale. If you have a little bit more room, you don't have to kick it back way far. I really do want this to be a control. This one's not so much the flexibility as the toning on that outer thigh. But you are stretching the hamstring. You are stretching the quad. <sighs> Good. How do you feel? Is this your first time doing Pilates? Or maybe the first time doing it with a toddler in tow? Or maybe you're doing it on your own with no toddler. And I am. You don't have to have a toddler for these workouts. It's just nice to see the options if you do have a toddler. They can join. Thanks. Thanks, little one. Keep rocking, guys. All right, take that foot. Face it towards the ceiling. Make sure you have that slight pike in the body. Hips are the furthest back. Relax that wrist. Make sure it's comfortable. You could be here as well. Turn that top of your foot. Kick it up. Control it all the way down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I am not overly flexible. Have I increased my flexibility by doing Pilates every week? Yes. And has it in elongated the muscles? And have I seen tone? Yes. I'm able to see core muscles. A big thing if you're thinking, man, I really want my strength back in my abs. I really want to be strong there again. The biggest tip I have is where is your eating at? Tap the hot potato in front, lift. How are your proportions? Are you eating every two to four hours? Proportions that are smaller, that are something that can satiate you for one, two, three hours. You want a drink? You go. And what is the content in your food? Hey, Ava. Hi, good girl. You okay? Outer thigh on fire. Think of three things. Take this leg, bend it here, that perhaps are keeping you from your goals with whether they're weight loss, improved fitness. Think of three things. It could be um, eating too many sweets, not hitting your bedtime or staying up too late. It could be not drinking enough water. You could do the P-test to see, are you hydrated? Is it clear? 
clear. If not, then write down those three things and start today to work on them. You could pick one of the three and work on it for 21 days. It takes 21 days to make a habit, so use those 21 days to master one thing and then try the next. If you don't have to do it all in one chunk, you don't have to take the whole elephant in one bite. It's just single bite by bite. All right, relax that. Get out on your legs. Good inner outer thighs. Way to go, guys. <clears throat> We're going to take it onto our tummies for this next move. Thanks. Thanks, love. You guys are at 15 minutes. We have five minutes of work, and then we are doing some stretching. So this is great to couple with those weeks where you are feeling sore. You need a little bit extra an extra stretch. We're going to take it to swimmers. Your little one can be on your back. You want to get on my back? Or they can keep hands in your blocks. Either way. You want to come here? Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come get on. Come get on. Nope. Alright guys. Lift your left arm, right leg, and then switch. Other side. You can rest your head here. Or lift it up. Oh, you're gonna come on my back. Come on. Come here. Yeah. Come on. Come here, little one. Oh, oh there you go. Lift. Lift. Now, you're gonna pick up the pace, alternate your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Now, hover all. Inhale, exhale. Pick up your pace in your swimmers. Back is working, shoulders are working, your glutes are working. Ava's getting a pony ride. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hi, Ava. It's nice to work the total body as we're working the back that correlates with your core. So oftentimes we neglect our back. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Let's not neglect it today. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, rest there. Go ahead and take your knees out. Legs come up, it's called bad attitude. You're gonna lift and pulse. Pulse. The quads come off the floor. <sighs> Little one can be on your back or continue handing you toys. Thank you. Pulse, pulse. You can rest your head or lift it up. These glutes, oh yeah. Getting those out of here. <sighs> How's it feel, Ava, to not be doing this? <laughs> All right, guys, time there. We're going to take it to four Pilates push ups. You can't have your little one on your back here. Ava, do you want to go take a ride? Can we get on my back? Come here. Come here. Okay. Pilates push ups are on your knees. Oh, God. Hold on, little one. I don't think you're holding on very good. Your hands are right outside your um, rib cage. Elbows go against your rib cage. Oh, and dismount. See, Ava? And back up. Give me four more. Down. And up. If your little one is on your back and it's hard to get back up, then I would not go down completely. And back up. Give me one more. Let the little one slide off your back as you sit back to child's pose. Do you want to do the stretch? They can do the stretch with you. Thank you. Thank you. So thoughtful to share. Ah, give me five more of those push-ups. Come forward, elbows against your rib cage. Come down and press up. Inhale here, exhale up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Two more, inhale and exhale. Do you have Pilates hair yet? What is Pilates hair? Imagine you uh, got out of the shower and went to bed. What hair? Welcome to the morning, Pilates hair. Sit back to that child pose. <sighs> Hi. I love you. Hi. Hi. Kisses. Mm, love you. She still knows I'm talking to you. Are they gone? She's giving me kisses. PDA. Huh. Kisses. Mm. I love you. All right, guys, we're going to hold a plank for one minute and then move on to our flexibility. We're right on time. We're at 19 minutes. We'll hit that 20 minute mark and then we'll go to flexibility. Do you want to go in the back? Hold on. Oh, she might be dismounting. Oh. Don't do that. She just 
just looked at me like, Mom! All right, guys, let's go. Hold it here, one minute started. Woo! Pull the core in. If you don't have a little one on your back, try and go to those toes. Take this motion forward and back. Shift forward and back. It's only one minute. If you know 30 seconds, great. I'll keep you cute on time so you're not on the other end like, ah! You can think, yes, I can do this. You're almost there, 30 seconds down. Now instead of thinking, I'm only halfway, change that thought to, it's all downhill from here. Stop, tap your leg, tap your leg, tap, tap. Now you don't want a valley in your back or a mountain peak, hold it, flat back. 20 seconds, whoa, did you fall out of mom's back? Her face was priceless. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. Oh, hold it here. We're gonna move to cat cow. Up here. Hold the belly button in. And exhale arch. Now, depending on your toddler's ability to hold on, Ava's pretty new at that. You can have them on your back. A little bit of a bronchin cowboy ride. And up. You're so helpful. You're so helpful. Thank you. And hunch as your chin comes up. And then arch. Now hunch. Drop your chin. Here's your cat. Meow. 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 Say meow. And arch. Lift your chin. Move. We have our five minutes of stretching. Take your left leg to the side. Right leg is bent in front of you. You have blocks galore. You can't see them all. They're right there. Right in front of us. Front wheel your hands over to the left. Opening up that rib cage in that side. Breathe easy here. Now the work in Pilates flies by because you do not do a ton of repetitions. We frequently do maybe four to eight repetitions unless you're doing it like a pit Pilates interval training where you do it by time rather than amount. But we really do go quickly through the moves. Turn your body towards that leg. Now bend from the waist, coming down to the hamstring stretch. You really should feel uh, warm right now, able to stretch well. And if this is your first time doing Pilates, thanks for joining. If you are a Pilates veteran and it was fun having the little ones join, Overall, it is mat work. We do, um, <clears throat> there are so many options that you have to do on the floor. Take your left leg in, right leg. So if you're doing low impact options, maybe coming off of an injury, new to fitness, you do have a lot of options to still tone and tighten those muscles. Remember the tip that the biggest results will be seen when you really do focus on your nutrition. Whether it is logging your food on my fitness pal, simple way to food journal, there are studies done that show that a higher percentage <coughs> is more successful in their weight loss when they food journal. It just, I mean, all of the stats show that it's really effective. So if that is your goal, look into food journaling. Try it out for a week, see how you go, how it goes. I always recommend the app by Fitness Pal. It's simple to use, turn that body, and facing to the right, now bend forward. You want to do this stretch? Good job, Ava. Okay, now open both legs out wide, splits. Here, open your legs. Okay, go forward. Bend forward to the middle. Whoa. Walk, walk, walk. Hey, that's weird. It does not the position. Hold it here. Legs are wide. Feeling a nice stretch right there in the groin. It's just before dinner time, so we always have a snack in between. I always say have a meal, snack, meal, snack, meal, and then your evening snack have protein with fiber. You want to avoid those sweets and carbs at night, the things you want to eat the most, right? <laughs> All right, guys, take those feet to butterfly. Balm your feet together. Oh, you're taking my mat apart. You guys should see this room. 
after Ava's been in here, I have a bunch of teaching supplies. Oh, and she loves to get them all out. We're learning how to put them away. Take your feet there, bottom of your feet up. Oh, this is a fun puzzle piece we're sitting on, obviously. Look at that sword. Whoa! Ow! 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 Fold your legs here. Take your left arm across your body. Push your shoulder down. Circle your wrist. Fight the bad guys. Yeah, 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 yeah! Boom, boom, boom! Switch right arm comes across. Come to this arm. This arm needs to fight you. This arm needs to fight you. Yeah, yeah! She's fighting the bad guy in the corner. Like in the video games when you're like in the wall. Ah! <laughs> That's Ava right now. Well done guys, take your legs to the side, let's finish with mermaid pose, this is a feel good pose, and Ava might knock you over. Don't knock him over. Take it to the side, and then to the right. Now on this one, lift your hips, back bend here, coming back down to the side, back bend here, back down, back bend here, then take it back down, like switch over to the opposite side. I didn't even take my jacket off, I am sweating. I was planning on taking it off. Just so many things on the mind when you have a toddler in there. Lift those hips up, slide back in, back down. Ticka, ticka, ticka. She got me, she got me. One more of that bent mermaid, the half bend. Good, inhale at the top. Exhale at the bottom, inhale the top, exhale at the bottom. You guys are right on the money, way to go, 25 minutes, you nailed it. I hope that you have a great day. Oh, I, I stopped my time. I hope that it was 25 minutes, give or take a couple minutes. Have a good day, guys. Let me know if you did this workout in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I also love feedback on workouts that you'd like to see. Next week, we'll have another workout for you. Every week, I post a new workout. So if you are not subscribed, you can to know, be notified when those workouts are posted. All right. Bye. Say bye. Don't